freights too. Well, I understand that, Gladys. Just a minute, okay? Hey, kids, what are you doing down there? We're going through Grandpa's old trunk. Oh, look, this is the mask Dad brought back from his last trip. Look at this old radio. Look, I better go. Yeah, I'm trying to interest my editor in a story on the technology in the workplace, and my computer's waiting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. What a great piece of junk. Mom, can I have this? What? What? It's beautiful. Oh, that. <laughs> that was your great-great-grandmother's. The story goes a giant gave it to her. A giant? Mm-hmm. Your grandmother told me that her grandmother was marooned once in a place called Blizzard Island. Blizzard Island? Yeah, she was about your age at the time. <sighs> she said that a giant named Argon gave her the necklace as a way to get her home. And she promised to return the necklace to Argon if ever a strange creature mentions his name. Strange creature? So why was it in a box? No one ever asked for it. What would we do if someone did ask? <laughs> Tracy, it's just a story. Well, can I play with it? Sure. But be careful with it. It's very old. Now, look, I've got to get on with this story for Shirley, okay? Sure, great. Come on, Wayne. I want to show this to Alice. Wait, wow. I'm touching it. Mom said, oh, I can play with it. we can play with it. Yeah, but me first. Wait a minute. Wow, look. The middle part looks like it moves. It does. This is spooky. One minute we're home, and the next minute we're here. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Look for a way to get home. Come on, we'll head into the woods here and see what we can find. Huck, do you hear a plaintive cry, Mulcaster? Oh, you mean those creatures calling for help? Sir the Python? very ones, my assiduous assistant. The very ones. Come, let us see if this can benefit us in some way. The lost are always such a source of comfort. <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me, Mulcaster? Uh, gee, uh, that's a tough question. Uh, I'm not merely philosophizing, my mangy minion. Look at that little creature and tell me what it is she's wearing around her neck. Um, uh, a necklace? Not just a necklace, Mulcaster. Uh, the necklace. Uh, the necklace of Argon. Uh, <laughs> it can't be. Uh, that's been missing for hundreds of years. Uh, Don't be so quick to doubt your old mentor, Mulcaster. Every creature on Blizzard Island knows the legend. Look again. Help! Help! For so many years, I've been exiled on this dreadful rock, and now, at last, a way home is almost within my coils. I don't know if this is such a good idea, Tracy. We don't even know where we are. Maybe we should just stay put until someone we know shows up. <laughs> so, my cowering little creatures, lost are we? Hmm. Who are you? I am Sir Python the Snake, and this is my assistant, Mr. Mulcaster Cat. Oh, pleased to meet you. Oh. More menace in your manner, my foolish friend. Oh. This isn't a social call. 
I live alone, so I don't have any need of names. No one ever speaks to me. A Raga what? Well, uh, you could call me Rog if you like. Okay, Rog. <laughs> you saved our lives. Yeah, well, maybe, Can but... Can you tell us where we are? We're lost. We've got to get home. This is Blizzard Island. Uh, Blizzard Island. And you're wearing the necklace of Argon. Oh, thank goodness you've arrived. He just said the A word. Blizzard Island. Argon. Mm -hmm. Just like in Mom's story. Gosh. But now I have to return this necklace to him. Yeah. That's what Mom said. Well, well, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to give you any problems. You aren't. You're giving us answers. No. Do you know where we can find this Argon? Gee, no one's seen him in, uh, 200 years. 200 years? Yeah, he went to have his sleep. Giants always sleep about 250 years, so nobody really expects to see him for, uh, oh, 50 or so. 50 years? Then how am I going to return this necklace to him? Um, um, could you keep it for him till he wakes up? Oh, no! That wouldn't be right! I've got to find a way back home. I've got homework to do. But you're here because the island's dying. What? If you've got a bit of time, there's an old castle a little ways from here that the great Argon used to sleep in. You could just look it over and see if he's around. Mm. What do you say, Tracy? All right, but then we've got to find a way home. We can't defeat the Roglonian by ourselves, Mulcaster. I'm afraid this calls for desperate measures. <laughs> oh, no, you don't mean... <laughs> what do you think, Uncle Egbert? Glow in the dark fingernail. Hmm. Well, if it means I don't have to look at the rest of you, I love it. Hey, come in, come in and hurry up. I can't take much more of this drivel my niece is spouting. Good. Hey, Sydney, you're looking particularly ravishing. Well, I already said I was sick of dribble. <laughs> Sir Python and Morcaster, my old familiar. Oh, you tuck me under the tin. I hate that. I've always hated that. Oh, Sir Python, I told you we should live. <laughs> How you two love to tease each other. I could barely constrain Mulcaster's enthusiasm when I suggested we come visit you and tell you of the news. News? What news? Why, we found the necklace of our god. You've done what? Where is it? It's us. It's on a... It's on a little girl. You can look for yourself in your crystal lamp. Because the lamp. Oh, 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 where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's oh. under the dirty laundry. Oh. <sighs> You're right. There it is. The necklace of Argon. And, and so close. Oh, I have lots of power. When you get a hold of it. So <laughs> if she gets hold of it. She always finds some way to screw things up. Well, well, just look what she did to me. You know, 
I was once a whole wizard. Oh, I'll get a hold of it, all right. Great ones. No matter what it takes, a necklace bargain will be mine. There used to be flowering plants all over this section of the wood, but they've all died now. Something is terribly wrong with Blizzard Island. Do you think that's the reason the necklace brought us here? Well, we certainly need it now. Way! Uh, I'm coming. Then let's go to the Great Aragon's castle, give him back his necklace, and then ask him to send us home. <laughs> Yet, Sydney. Let's do it in a minute. First, I've got to find the bat wings. You can never find bat wings when you need them. Why not just use the ones on your back? Don't sneer, Uncle Egbert. It'll put wrinkles in your brows. And if it doesn't, I will. You've done enough already. If it wasn't for you, I'd still have a body. You, you, you. Oh. Details, details. I was only trying to help. How's I didn't know that it'd make your body disappear? It's okay. Look out. map of 
all the places on Blizzard Island the giants use. Oh, and they're all marked and named. Argon wow. must have made this map. So there really must be an Argon. Mm. Or oh, there's a map anyway. We could use this map to help us find him. We could. I think it's over here. Hurry, Wayne. I'm coming. I'm sure it's around here someplace. It's not very hollow. It's only a name, Wayne. Oh, 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 you fool me, Sir Python. You make a brilliant log. Well, of course, Mocaster. Which is only to say, brilliance comes easily to the brilliant. Oh, oh the, the Rogalodian and the others are on their way, sir. Then throw those leaves on me and hide behind one of those big rocks. Uh, Hurry. Right. <laughs> Rog, come on. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Oh. Did you hear something? That log's moving. It's a python. Run! Get back here. Oh, oh. Hey, it's a python. Are you all right? A full-sized creature stomps all over me, and you ask me if I'm all right. Rogue anymore. Where is he? Wasn't he following us? I don't think so. Oh, we better go find him. Oh no, Rog! You look terrible. I'm not too bad. You look awful. Your eyes are strange, and your hair is matted, and your tongue is hanging out. Yeah, I know. Well, that's because it's doom to doom doom. What? Once a year, we Rogalonian creatures have to recharge ourselves in our ancestral sand dunes. What would happen if you didn't do it? We get weaker and weaker and weaker. And we have to take you back to your ancestral sand dunes, Rock. Which way? No, but it's important to find Argon. I really want to show you the bed of falling flowers. That can wait. But it's so urgent. Blizzard Island is dying, and this is on the way to my ancestral sand dune. It is? Yes, so I'll have time. Really, I'll be okay. You're sure? <clears throat> okay, <laughs> but you'll tell us when it gets to be too much. Yeah. Yes, I will. If I help you get the magic necklace, promise the first thing you do is give me back my body. Okay, Uncle Egbert, you got a deal. I'm all ears. Mm. Okay, enough kidding around, Rog. Which way to your ancestral sand dunes? Oh, I'm afraid there's only one way to get there in time. But I'll have to do it myself. What's that? Oh, across Fool's Bridge. And then straight down to the water's edge. Fool's Bridge? I can cross it, but it's too dangerous for you. What are we going to do? Rog's our friend. We have to save him. We'll have to cross Fool's Bridge. <laughs> no! I couldn't bear to think of putting you two in danger. We're going with you, Rog. No, no. I, I'm fine, I tell you. Oh, Rog! Oh, no! No wonder they call it Fool's Bridge. <laughs> oh, Fool would cross it. We're taking you across, Rock, and that's final. Whoa. <gasps> Wasn't that sending the wind? Yeah, we better hurry. Do you see what I see? Yes. Save yourselves, it's me. Help me get Rock on my back. Take Rock. I've got a plan to delay him. Oh, no, no, 
Clutches he slipped through. That's right. You be quiet. Uh, You're nothing but a poor excuse for a snake. A, a silly talking hunk of rope. Uh, rope? Did I say rope? Yes, you said rope. <sighs> brilliant notion, my sweet Sydney. A brilliant notion. you over on the count of three. All right. I think this must be it. He's not even moving. Ah. Oh, you're brilliant as a bridge, Sir Python. Even better than you were as a log. Ah, oh, quit uh, yapping and uh, move it, will ya? Uh, uh, By the time we get uh, going, they'll be gone. Come on. Uh, let, let Mulcaster go first, Sydney. I can't hold both of you at the same time. What? <laughs> and get left behind? You must think I'm a fool. Well, I'm going ahead. Tell Mulcaster to get behind. Come on. There's no way. I was here first. Come on, you all right. I told you I couldn't hold both of you. Now we'll never catch them. What do we do? I thought when we got here and put him down in the sand, he would get better. I don't know. He never told us how the dune to dooning worked. It's all our fault. 
We should have walked faster. You should have got him to tell us how to do the doing work. I've never had a friend die before. It's funny. At first, I liked him a little, but I didn't really trust him. Now that I've grown to trust him and love him, it's not fair. It isn't. Rog was the sweetest, kindest, most generous creature I ever knew. It just won't be the same. No. No, it won't. so bad. Yeah. The important thing is, though, that Rog's okay. <laughs> yes, Rog's okay! Yes, I'm okay! Oh, I'm a failure, Mocaster. A failure. Oh. Well, don't be so down on yourself, sir. Face it, my kind kitten. You can't get any lower than being an old snake nobody fears. Oh. Uh, but, uh, I fear you, sir. Uh, look. Uh, I'm talking about fear when it really counts, Mulcaster. I'm talking about that little Tracy Allen and her bothersome brother. They don't fear me. In fact, I'm sure by now they think of me as, oh, cute. Oh, I definitely know they don't think of you as cute, Sir Python. And now they're getting close to finding the great Argon. It's the talk of the island, you know. And when they do, the necklace of Argon will be gone. And with it, my only hope of ever returning to my ancestral home. Why don't you just go and ask Argon to help you? Ask Argon? Ask, and just why would the great Argon help me, huh? Why? Why would he help me? Because he'll think I'm the one who helped him. Oh, excellent thinking, Mulcaster. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Please, Sydney, drop your fishing pole and come here. Listen, I've got my hand. Oh, I'll be quiet here. again. Oh, just, just please, my dear, dear niece, Sydney. Anything. Nose is itchy and I can't scratch it. What's that awful sound? Over there. What if something terrible was about to happen to me? What's that? Strange footsteps? Oh no, something terrible really is about to happen to me. Help! It's on Glenbert! Sydney? Sydney? Shh. Are you there? Get away, all the suckle Sydney, back. this isn't funny! Sydney isn't here. Um, are you alright? Alright? Of course I'm not alright. Oh, you've got to help me get away from here. I can't stand it anymore. Tracy, come on. No, no, don't go, please. You're my only hope. Tracy, come on. The river of distant thunder is waiting, and we've got a world to save. He's right, you know. We don't have time for games. Yeah, we've got to find the great Argon and the well of We're dreams. We're looking for the great Argon. I, I want to find him, too. Tracy, come on. We'll wait to... How are we supposed to believe you? Because I'm telling the truth. Because I, I want my body back. And maybe the great Argon can help. And... I know where to find the Well of Dreams. You do? I do. He sounds like he's telling the truth. I am. Oh, 
if I have to spend one more minute under my niece's cruel thumb, I'll go out of my mind. Please, please, I'll do anything. I've been up the river of the distant thunder before. Trouble lies ahead. I can help you. The only trouble lying ahead is this lying ahead. Ace first! I hooked the big one! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I beg of you. I get down on my hands and knees and beg if I uh, could. Whoa! If there's anything I hate worse than a bath, it's a dunk in the river. <laughs> I believe him. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> I knew you had a hand in planning my unexpected swim. <sniffs> Uncle Egbert! Egbert! How much further to the river, Uncle Egbert? It's getting closer now, but we should be careful here. It's easy to get lost in this section of the endless forest. Don't worry, Uncle Egbert. Your darling niece is going to do everything in her power to get you back. Oh, that poor dear. Oh. I haven't been here for ages. I had no idea things were this bad. Bad? Are you kidding? It's beautiful. Not like it once was. Oh, the great Argon won't be pleased when he wakes up and sees this. Oh, no. Wait a minute, I'm not pleased. You said our next stop was the River of Distant Thunder. This is the River of the Distant Thunder. Or was. Oh, you're right. Oh, this is bad. I didn't even recognize it. Oh. Wow, look at this. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it is. Oh, let me see. Wow, do you think it could be Argon's? Hello, can anybody what hear me? What is it for? I don't know. A magic wand, maybe? You! Oh, sorry, Uncle Egbert. Do you know what it is? Well, knock me over with a herd of stampeding sticklebacks. Is it a magic wand? Is it Argon's magic wand? Well, it's Argon's, all right. But it isn't a magic it? wand. It's a bubble wand, the kind you use to blow bubbles. Uh, I don't believe it. A giant who blows bubbles. Yes, he'd sit up there on the river bank blowing bubble after bubble. And what giant bubbles they were. Come on, lamb. Oh, don't fail me now. Wait a minute. What's this? It's those horrible Allen creatures with that silly sand thing rug. I wonder what they're up to. That's a familiar lump in Tracy's pack. I don't believe it. It's my poor defenseless Uncle Egbert. Oh, captive. Oh, I must save him. He must be absolutely miserable. Oh. Oh, I love sunshine and the wind on my face. I love every little creature and every little place. Love the morning and the evening and the smile upon your face. Everybody! Tracy, we've been climbing for hours. Can we take a rest? We can rest, Wayne, when the great Argon wakes up. Yes, don't let a little uphill battle get you down. It's a beautiful day, and we're almost at the top. Is that thunder? Maybe it's storm coming. No, no, it's the waterfall, but where the river of the distant thunder begins. Their journey ends. Daniel appears is just up there. Up there? What, up there? Beyond that is the well of dreams. But how will we ever get way up there? What are we waiting for? Let's start climbing. Well, no, no. If you start climbing there, you'll never make it. Who has a good throwing arm? What? Oh, throwing arm. Oh. 
Magic potion number 902, yellow goo. Guaranteed to stick to anything. Are you sure we need this? Well, that slope may look easy to climb, but it's as slippery as slimy sludge worm. I'll take your word for it. Juan, knock them out our slider. Whoa! Good work, boy. Guy. Take it up, Rod! In my better days, I could have taken us all up at once. The glides were even a great help to us. We couldn't have gotten this far without you. Hello down there! Yeah, Rob! You next way, you best! Good boy, Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. Watch, watch out for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle Egbert, I've come to rescue you. Oh, but I don't want to be rescued. But of course you do, dear. Well, I was going to be rescued. Oh, and they, you still they, are. You give him back. He's my uncle. Give him to me. Give him. Give him. Give him. She really is crying. <laughs> oh no, Slaper! <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming down! <laughs> Once we get to the top. Oh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't leave Sydney. I'm calling she does back. need me. I promised her father I'd keep an eye on the little tyke. Oh, such is the nature of responsibility. You go ahead. Uh, but give me a little shove first, then make it look good. What do you say Tracy, we go yeah, home please. and I'll give you a Let's warm, go. relaxing bubble bath. <laughs> I'll even throw in a scalp massage. Ten whole minutes? Ooh. Why not be daring? Let's go for 20. Nothing. but I've never seen them, and in fact, no one's ever been quite sure where they were located. The old ones? From the old days when hundreds of giants lived on Blizzard Island. This is the right direction, Mulcaster. Well, Uncle Egbert swore he left them here on their way to the Vale of Fears. Well, remember, 
When we catch up with oh, our boy. little threesome, we just follow along and keep tabs on them. Yeah. Got it? Tabs? No, what kind of tabs? Tracy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's okay. Come on in. Oh. Oh. Careful, Wayne. Oh. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh. Whoa! Wayne! Wayne! Oh. Once you get over being scared, come on, Rob. Wait for me. This is it, Wayne. Listen. It's merely a stone figure, the frightened, the ignorant, and simple-minded, my oh, cowardly it kitten. It works. Oh. Yeah. But I don't see our little trio anywhere. I wonder where they went. It's like hmm. they just disappeared. Oh. Well, I didn't hear them in the brush anywhere. Ah, the stone statue. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> to our great number of great grandmas. Mrs. Allen's in trouble. Argon, Argon, it's time to wake up. Look, I found your magic bubble wand. Argon, come on, Argon, this is urgent. Our whole world needs you. There's nothing we can do. Who dares disturb the sleep of the great Argon? Well, answer my question. If you please, my name is Tracy Allen, and this is my brother Wayne and my good friend Rob. We've come to return this necklace to the great Argon. Well, the necklace of Argon? <clears throat> Let me see that. A worm! A talking worm! I'm not a worm. I'm a caterpillar. 
and I'm the caretaker of the sleeping place of the great Argon. Oh, yes, yes. It's the genuine necklace, all right. But Argon's not due to wake up for another 50 years or so. Uh, you can leave the necklace with me if you like, and I'll make sure he gets it when he wakes up. I don't think so. We're supposed to give it to the great Argon. And we need Argon! Blizzard Island's dying. The whole world's dying. And we can't wake up the great Argon. Mm. Well, seems to me there was something in Argon's Care of Sleeping Giants manual about what to do in this very situation. It was? Uh, got it. Uh, to wake a giant from its rest, fill the ring in place. North, south, east, and west, each one in its space. But that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I just quote them. I don't write them. It's obviously a riddle, but what does it mean? Nothing we do seems to wake him. And the riddle doesn't seem to be any help either. No. Well, maybe we should uh, look in the other room. Other room? Sure. Right over there. Pictures? Oh, you mean like the crystal lamp that Sydney has in the lighthouse? <gasps> Look at this. Look at this carving. Incredible. And these. You know, there's something familiar about these shapes. You're right. Some of these carvings are the same as Argon's necklace. to the crystal lamp. Maybe this is where it came from. That would explain why that one's not lit up. Sydney must have stolen it. Where are the ones that go in all the other spaces? to the plan. <laughs> we hang around, out of sight, until they wake the great Argon. Well, what's that what? Well, if they find the great Argon, we leap in and take all the credit. It's, it's, it's the perfect plan. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect. <laughs> Come along, Volcaster. <laughs> I 
really must fine-tune that spell someday. <sighs> ah, but it's good enough, because there's a stone statue mouth that they disappeared through. <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 15, and how many lights and dials? 16. 16. If you assume that hole up there is part of the pattern. Well, it must be, because there are definitely 16 dials. And there's got to be a connection between those lamps and this wooden ring. 16 connections. But that still doesn't explain why we can't wake up the great Argon, or why the necklace fits in that ring, or why everything's falling apart. Whoa, well, hey, don't look at me. I'm just a caretaker. I wasn't even here when the great Argon fell asleep. See, I hired on when the last caterpillar decided to retire. And there were at least 20 or so caterpillars before her. Shh, shh. Oh, I hear it. All four dials, the obvious step is to turn the dials. Exactly. But carefully, we don't know what these dials control. <laughs> Nothing. I'm going to turn all the way. something to do with how Wayne and I came to Blizzard Island. If that lamp brought that boy here... some way to wake him, then convincing him that we were the heroes of the hour would be easy. <laughs> He'd send me back to my ancestral home out of simple gratitude. <laughs> gratitude? Did you say gratitude? <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, yeah. Why, keeping an eye on things, of course. <laughs> now, Python, we don't want to wake the giant. All we want to do is keep him asleep while we loot the place. Think of it, Python. All the power in those boat crystals. And all we have to do is immobilize those three little pests while we do our dirty little deed. <laughs> the words do have a certain charming logic to them, my wise witch. This is the wrong, sir, Python. Oh. You can't trust her, I know. I used to work for her. She only thinks of herself. Why you're here. I know it seems strange, but it's up to all of us kids to save the world. My guess is that there's probably some family heirloom that a giant named Argon gave to one of your ancestors. That's right, it was handed down by my great great grandfather. Mine, too. Well, that's why you're here. The giant named Argon is asleep in the next room, and we need all the jewels that brought you here to wake him up if we want to save the world. What can we do? Well, First of all, if you could lay all the jewels on that table over there, and then sort them out by shape, then fit them all into here. To wake a giant from its rest, fill the ring in place. North, south, east, west, each one in its space. 
<laughs> it's the winch! It's the, the winch! Look at it! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Where did all these little creatures come from? There's too many of them. So Python. My bubble wall. Hmm? Hey, Agon, you're awake. Of course I'm awake. Someone activated my compass. It was my fault. Are you? You look vaguely familiar. My name is Tracy Allen, your largeness. Hmm. Return this necklace you gave to my great great grandmother. Ah, I remember now the girl who was shipwrecked. Oh, yes. She was very scared, but very brave. You look a lot like her. Thank you. Now then, who found my bubble ward? I did. I'm Tracy's brother, Wayne. Oh, thank you, Wayne. I didn't think I'd ever see this again. And I looked everywhere for it, too. Mm. And who are you? Oh, uh, I'm the Rogalonian Al Norta, son of Fortella of the Third Doom. Mm. Oops. <laughs> but you can call me Rog. Heart to fire. I am strong. Bring. To me. Go home. Back so soon? You, Snake. Me? We have many important things to discuss, and your presence here is a distraction. Please go. But you're great. Gone. Now then, how did all this stuff, Rog? Well. Everything on Blizzard Island was dying, and uh, we were afraid in another few years it would be uh, dead. And, and I couldn't think of any other way to fix things than to the wake one you. Talk, talk Tracy and I into trying to find you. And we were all so worried since you left the riddle with the caterpillar, we figured you'd want to know. So they brought the rest of us here using the crystal lamps. Hmm. Let me see. It's a beginning. We'll all need to keep watch over Blizzard Island, and everywhere else that's been affected, too. All of us will need to keep watch. But the healing has begun, yes. We did it! Yeah, we did it! Quite simple. Actually, what I began with was the beginning. And I swiftly and then erringly. What are you doing here? Oh, let me explain that to you. You see, because of the problems we've been having with the others. How can we get back home again? <laughs> it's quite simple. All but we have to do is recover. ended up with us kids. Kids care. And besides, who else believes in giants? 
Come, children. I'll send you home. Thank you, my child. And have a pleasant journey. That's okay. Not many nine-year-olds get to meet giants anymore. And you too, Tracy. Your great-great-grandmother Sarah would be very proud of you. Thank you, Argon. We'll be waiting to hear from you. Have a safe journey home, both of you. And now, my three new friends, we have work to do. Guess what? I've almost finished figuring out my class speech. What are you gonna talk about? I'm gonna tell them all about Argon and Rogalonian sand creatures and Blizzard Island. You so can't give your class speech about Blizzard Island. They'd never believe you. Besides, you promised to keep it a secret. Yeah, you're right. 